I am Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expeditions West and we're here in Ellensburg, Washington with Remote Medical and we're going to talk a little bit about the services that they provide to the Overland Traveler. So some of the things that come to mind for me, um, I think that wilderness medical training is actually even more important than driver training. Because when you're in the middle of nowhere, if you do have an injury, that can be not only life-threatening, but completely interrupt your trip if you can't provide some service. Yeah, I think uh, the, the perception is, uh, at least uh, from our client side, is that we're, we're a professional medical company. We definitely are. We provide medical services around the world. But our real passion is adventure and exploration. So uh, in my view, the, it, the concept of, of wilderness-specific or remote-specific uh, medical training is very complementary to the, the idea of adventure and extremely important. Um, you're never there, uh, at least hopefully, you're never there on a medical mission. You're there to drive or uh, kayak or ride your motorcycle, but if something goes bad, it's the first thing you kind of need to turn to. It is, and when you think about the amount of time and planning and money that people spend to prepare their vehicle and to research the place that they want to go to in the world, they may not even get that kind of training that really is what they need when they're on the ground. So you, you could spend $10,000 on your truck, but you don't have a basic first aid kit and some basic awareness on how to use it, and that can completely end your adventure, you know? Yeah, and the, the sad part of it is, is something as simple as a toothache can end a trip. If you're in Africa and you don't have access to a dentist, um, just not knowing the skills on how to deal with a toothache, it's a manageable thing. Um, you just need to know how to do it, but that can take your whole trip offline. Yeah, and, and I think one of the most important things that we've found through the years is that training and experience on the ground before you go on an adventure is far more valuable than equipment. Um, with a basic first aid kit and a lot of knowledge, you can really solve a lot of problems. If you've got a $10,000 first aid kit and you've got not gotten any training, it's amazing how little that that person can actually do to save the other the other individual. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of seminars here, and one of the first things we always say, if you have a $100 to spend um, on medical, spend $90 on training and $10 in your medical kit, because you can usually figure out what to do, but you just gotta know how to do it. And we hear, um, and part of the fun is the CEO being here, um, talking to the people that um, we're so involved with, we just hear story after story of, hey, you know, this happened on our trip, or that happened in the kit that we built, or the kit um, and training that they had. And I think you even have examples. Um, of that, they, they used them and it, and it changed their trip or they kept somebody alive uh, in some cases. So yep. it's really fun to hear and it's really exciting for me um, as a founder to, to kind of see the impact and the fact that everyone's getting out, being able to enjoy um, their trips more um, with that type of training. And that pretty much sums it up. What you want to do is spend your money on training, you want to get proficient with the equipment, and then you want to spend, after that, you want to spend some time with RMI, get a customized kit or use one of their available kits, and have it in your vehicle and available, because the last thing that you want to do is get out on the adventure of a lifetime and have it stopped by a toothache.